The Houston Express container ship in this picture was built in 2005 and sails out of Hamburg, Germany. It can transport 8,400 TEUs. One TEU is a 20-foot equivalent container. It has a dead weight which is total weight including cargo, fuel, crew etc. of 107,000 metric tons. It is 233.2 meters long or 765 feet and 43.2 meters wide or 142 feet and has a maximum speed of 25 knots. This next picture shows the MSC Clea Madeira which sails under the flag of Madeira, a tiny island off the coast of Portugal. This container ship built in 2016, has a length of 300 meters or 984 feet, is 48.3 meters wide and has a draft of 15 meters or 49 feet. The draft of a ship tells how much of the ship is underwater. The MSC has a capacity of 9,400 TEUs, 20-foot containers, or an equivalent capacity of 4,700 FEU containers. An FEU is a 40-foot equivalent container so if a ship has a capacity of 9,400 TEUs, then the FEU capacity would be half. Here is an interesting fact. If you go to VesselFinder.com and plug in the information of a cargo ship, it will provide the exact location, previous ports and next ports of destination. On February 23, 2021 at 11.09 p.m., the MSC Clea was eastbound off the coast of Spain and traveling at a speed of 16.1 knots. Large ships can carry up to 18,000 of the 20-foot containers with a few able to carry 21,000 of the 20-foot containers. The busiest shipping port in the world is in Shanghai, China and it is estimated that in 2018, this port handled some 42 million TEUs, and again, one TEU is equal to a 20-foot container. Ships enter and leave ports around the world on a continuous basis and transporting large volumes of cargo by ship is often the cheapest way to move goods over long distances. A shipping port is a very busy place with tens of thousands of containers sitting on the ground and dozens of ships loading or waiting to be loaded. Some ports can handle more than $500 million worth of goods in a day. Shipping containers come in two standard lengths. 20 feet 6 meters and 40 feet 12 meters. The standard width is 8 feet 2.4 meters and the standard height is 8.5 feet or 2.6 meters. The weight of a 20-foot container is about 5,200 pounds 2,360 kilograms and 8,700 pounds or 4,000 kilograms for the 40-foot version of the container. Containers are loaded and sorted by shipment locations and are handled by huge mobile cranes that run along track like ridges in the pavement. Some of these container cranes are capable of stacking containers 6 to 8 units high and can lift tens of tons. Some larger ships have built-in cranes that can offload trucks and also load the containers right onto the ship. In this example, the ship's crane is stacking containers as if they were tiny Lego blocks. Once offloaded at ports, containers can be transported by trucks along highways in order to get goods to distant towns. Smaller mobile cranes can be used in local yards to lift containers onto trucks doing local deliveries. Containers can also be loaded onto trains for transport inland as this is a more efficient way to move hundreds of containers between cities. Typical freight trains can be up to 10,000 feet long or 1.9 miles which is equivalent to 3,000 meters or about 3 kilometers. Some freight trains have been known to pull close to 300 cars and stretch out over 18,000 feet or 3.4 miles which is the equivalent of 5,500 meters or 5.5 kilometers. For travel by train, shipping containers are normally placed on specially designed flatbed rail cars which allow them to sit low and remain stable without the need to physically attach them to the car. In some areas of the world, river barges are used to transport dozens of containers inland into areas that would not normally be accessible by larger ocean-going vessels. This video shows a barge on the Rhine River in Germany.
It is just going past an area called Cran House, or Crane House. There are three of the 17-story buildings built like an upside-down letter L, and designed to resemble the old shipping cranes that would load and offload containers along the Rhine River in the Cologne region of Germany in years gone by. Today, barges can still be seen floating containers up and down the river. In rough open waters, container ships have run into storms and bad weather which can in worst cases result in containers toppling off the ships and into the ocean. The World Shipping Council WSC, estimates that in a given year, some 550 or more containers are lost at sea each year and if you include catastrophic events, the number jumps to over 1500. The next time you see a shipping container on a freight train or the back of a transport truck, then just think of the journey the goods inside has likely taken to get to your local store. And if you ordered something from Amazon that still has not arrived after the 6-8 to eight week time frame that was promised, your item may have been tossed off a container ship and is sitting on the ocean floor. Please take a few moments to leave a comment or two and also let me know if there are specific content you would like to see. Thanks for watching and check back soon for more content or subscribe to get notified.